Hey everyone, my name is Jack. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to be testing out a 4070 Ti in Starfield. We'll do 1080p, 1440p, 4K with and without FSR turned on. I do know there is a DLSS mod out there, but I don't have that downloaded. So I'm just going to try out FSR. Considering AMD has that, like, opened it up so it can be used with NVIDIA cards and Intel cards as well. Uh, but before we get started, don't be a stranger, leave a comment or question down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, what we're going to start off with is 1080p and FSR turned off. Let's jump in. Yeah, so right off the bat, I noticed two things. One, we're not getting near the FPS that I got with my 7900 XT. We are sitting at 54 on average. It's going to change as we run around, I'm sure. But right now, it's sitting at 54. We It was low 70s, I believe. I finished off with the 7900 XT. And as well, the GPU is saying it's at 99% utilization. However, it's only hitting 170 watts at 99% utilization. Most games, well, almost all the games I've, ever, I've played that I've noticed, it hits around at least 220 watts. So something is going on there, and that might be an optimization issue with the game or an NVIDIA GP, unfortunately. Anyway, let's just go run around here a bit and look at this embarrassing FPS average. Like, honestly, the amount that these GPUs cost and we're not even hitting the 60 FPS average at 1080p in this game is just stupid considering i was nice i'm sorry punk my 77 earlier at testing it out at 1080p and i was getting an average of 176 fps using this gpu exact same system so this is this is pathetic i have better words to describe it but i'd like to keep my uh channel as kid friendly as possible uh, uh so yeah use your imagination but this is freaking embarrassing. Oh, we're hitting the 66 over here. Average is still 59, but uh, the current frame rate is kind of going up a little bit. Look at that. 60 FPS, 1080p. Or in Canada, with tax, a $1,300 video card. Embarrassing. And I don't know why they would do this. Why would you partner with a specific GPU manufacturer, let alone one with one of the lowest, like between Intel and AMD, I think they have 15% market share. NVIDIA has the lion's share of the GPU market. Why are you partnering with AMD and then alienating all these other potential players who are using NVIDIA GPUs. It just, oh, I, okay, I completely forgot. So this is on Xbox and PS5, which use AMD, AMD hardware, CPU and GPU. Uh, okay, I forgot all about that. Well, hopefully they do come up with something that boosts the FPS, both for AMD and NVIDIA, because this is, Embarrassing. This this is not better than Cyberpunk. At least in my view. Like there's nothing here that should be more graphically intensive or CPU intensive. I could be missing something than Cyberpunk. So this is just yeah. It's utter nonsense. I'll be curious to see uh which I will be testing. Um with the new Cyberpunk 2.0 update that's going to come out maybe in a couple weeks. Could be before the Phantom Liberty update. What uh, the performance change is going to be. Because there is supposed to be some like quality of life kind of improvements to the game. Oh, we hit the 70s. Big 70s. Alright, so overall this is pretty embarrassing in this, uh, in this area. With this GPU. I know it is going to be 
higher in other areas, but this is what we tested with the 7900 XT, so we're sticking with the kind of apples to apples testing here. And yeah, AMD for the win on this game, of course, but that's to be expected. Let's go turn FSR on and see if that has any help. Okay, FSR. And I'll say it again. When you turn FSR on, you need to come over and then manually reduce the render resolution scale because right now at 100%, you're not upscaling anything. You're playing essentially at native. So drop it back down to, so you can play with it whatever you want. I drop it down to 75%, kind of keep the testing the same across the board. And let's see. So we went from like 70 FPS up to 75. Big gains right there. Big gains. So we got three and a half percent uptick in performance. No, wait, sorry. Five, oh, seven percent uptick in performance. Oh, and as we move along, it kind of goes down. So it's negligible. It's not like one way or the other. I wouldn't use FSR at 1080p because we are not getting any kind of upscaling that matters. I'd rather run around at 55 native than get 60 with MSR. Uh, again, the frame rates are not bad to play with. You can get by quite easily with that. The problem is, is we're talking a 4070 Ti in Canadian dollars. That's 1300 freaking dollars. And I'm only getting 67 FPS at 1080p. That is embarrassing. I'd be a little more acceptable if that was at 1440p, which, and with FSR turned off, but these are embarrassing numbers. Running around here, it seems, yeah, I think it was just we're in a high, yeah, 57, 16 now. Even though the average is still sitting at 68, it's starting to drop. Now I just sat around one spot for too long. I want my well, at least the 4070 Ti has enough VRAM. All right, let's uh, yeah, let's move on to 1440p. Like this is just embarrassing. Okay, here we go. FSR is turned off for 1440p, and the preset was set to ultra, and so it's all the settings we've on ultra or high. And let's go see what kind of embarrassment we get here. Well, right off the bat. Doesn't look like there's much difference in 1440 FP uh, average FPS versus. Oh yeah, well now we're getting down to 40. Never mind. I take that back. So yeah, now we're dipping below 50 FPS. Not as embarrassing as I thought it would be, but still. Pretty flippin' embarrassing. Over here. Not much. Yeah, so running through this little area here, we're dipping to 37, 46. Again, still is complete, especially in this area, it's still completely playable. Um, this is where you're just going to be doing some quests. There's not going to be any fighting or anything like that. At least not that I found that there's any fighting. But we're hitting, yeah, right now we're at 52 FPS. There are certain times where it's going to the high 40s. The 1% low seems to be about the same as it was for 1080p. But all around, we're 
not getting the best performance. But again, going to other settings, like if you're inside a building, it's going to be much higher. If you're going to be inside your starship, or when you're, like you saw there, when I was just uh, kind of jumped out of the city a bit and looked out across whatever water that was, uh, the FPS did go up. So that's why I'm not too concerned about it. I think he's still at 47 ATI. You're still going to end up with an okay experience. Just set your expectations a little lower. Now I'm wondering, let's see, will we get any kind of boost? FSR here. Upscaling again, up to render resolution scale, turn that down to 75. Go up, down, 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 down. Okay, for some reason, we're getting better than 1080p. Hmm. No, there we go. Now we're dropping a bit. That's more like it. You get very different results depending on where you're at in this city. So we're getting almost similar results as 1080p. I'm sure if I ran around a little bit more, I'll probably drop some. Because honestly, though, when we went from uh, 1440p, 1080p up to 1440p, we only dropped like five or so FPS. So there wasn't a big difference. And there still doesn't seem to be too big of a difference in FSR either. Again, I'd probably still play this at native resolution. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm going to be using FSR. You're not getting much of a gain. Much more functional. That sounds great. Okay, so we're here in 1440. This is where I'd expect most people would probably be playing the game at, at least. So let's go... We're gonna turn FSR off. Let's just drop uh, resets ultra down to high. So turn FSR off. See if this gives a little bit of boost. Can we get to 60 FPS? No. Mid 50s. Well, they're coming over this area. It's going up to the 60. Okay, so certain areas we can get a 60 FPS frame rate. There, jumped up to 70. Then when we come back out. So if you want to get a little bit better frame rate, and not really sacrifice quality that much. You can just turn the preset down from ultra to high. And we're almost hitting that 60 FPS. But again, like Cyberpunk at 1440p, I was getting 101 FPS. And that was on ultra. Everything was jacked up, so I don't get it. One percent lows are sitting at fifty, not too bad. Or well, forty-nine. Okay, let's go with four K. Four K. This is where I expect we'll really, you know, get hit hard. Let's go back. We'll turn it on to ultra. Let's are off and jump in and see how embarrassing this will be now.
Okay, so we drop down. Are we gonna get you know Series S console quality uh, FPS here? At least I'm a, I think it, that's what it was. You, it was providing at 4K only 30 FPS, which you know considering this GPU costs more than probably more than double the console cost. And we're only getting that kind of performance. Not that great. Maybe this is their way of trying to get people more, you know, pushed to a console is just, you know, kneecap the performance or PC computing. Yeah, at certain points we're not even hitting that 30 FPS. We got a 1% low of 25, it's dipping down to like 20s. See here now, this is what I'm talking about. We're at 99% GPU utilization and we're hitting near 220 watts. But back at 1080p, when we're hitting 99% GPU utilization, we're at like 160, maybe 180, bouncing in between there. So there was some kind of bottleneck uh, capping it there. I don't know why. I think it might just be, it's got to be gaming, like, the game itself, uh, it's got to be the optimization. That's not the CPU. My RAM is pretty good RAM. Let's see, I doubt FSR is going to be doing very much, but it could. We'll see. Go turn that on. Their resolution scale back down to 75 percent okay we're picking up three fps big, again big gains I wouldn't be playing that even at native. I would not be playing this game with a 30 FPS. The embassy district is a controversial place. Don't get me wrong, you could play this at 30 FPS. I would rather play it at 1440p with fairly decent, you know, res good resolution, um, high settings, ultra settings, and I would just go from there just to get that extra buffer. Especially going from here to your spaceship or fighting and all that. Uh, at least there you're going to get, you're going to go from the 50 or so FPS up to 60 or more. Whereas here, you're probably still going to struggle to hit that 60 FPS in those situations. We always go over here. Let's just go ahead the city. Okay, so this way, we're sitting at 53 FPS, 54. So things, they, they climb quite a bit when you go outside the city and into the rest of the world. But coming back into the city... Like just looking at it, it dropped <laughs> several FPS. As we go back into the city, yeah, it dropped like 10 FPS right there. So, Have a run in the spacers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go and turn. On. We'll turn FSR off and try different graphics. But at a certain point, it's not worth dropping the graphics down because then you're just lo like why would you play at 4k with low graphics that doesn't make sense to me it'll look substantially worse than just dropping the resolution down to 14. okay <laughs> Native resolution, high graphics instead of 
Ultra. We're getting in the high 30s. Yeah, we're still maintaining that almost 40 FPS. Again, you quite comfortably play this game. Like, even the 1% low is above 30, so you can quite comfortably play this game. But I prefer the 1440. But there you go. Not the best performance from 1080p up to. 4K, but honestly, like the difference is 30 FPS. We're going from like 60 FPS down to 30 FPS from going from 1080p to 4K. That's pretty, pretty sad. Again, using Cyberpunk as a benchmark, going from 1080p started at 176 FPS to 4K was 40 FPS average. So there was a huge change that's like 25 percent so it dropped by 25 percent of the original average fps whereas this only kind of halved but even the percentage doesn't tell the story because this just went from 60 fps down to 30 fps that one dropped 100 and almost 140 fps no so 130 fps percentages can kind of skew things Anyway, let me know your thoughts. And how disappointed are you that you have an NVIDIA GPU with this game?